we are again. Another day in New York City. Whew. So it's about nine o'clock. Don't know whether you can hear me properly, it's a bit loud. Um, I'll wait till it goes a little bit quieter. So we're off walking down the rain stop. We're gonna walk down for our breakfast in a little place which gets good reviews called Sean's Bar and Kitchen. And then the plan was to go to the Museum of Modern Art. But I don't know whether we're going to have time to do that before um, we go on our movies and tours, Central Park tour. So, but I'm definitely going to the Museum of Modern Art today because I've come prepared in my Starry Night hat. <laughs> it's been amazing, the rain stopped, it was absolutely lashing me down last night, but it's now stopped, which is good, hopefully it stays off because we've got a fun fill day. After the tour we're doing in Central Park, we are then um, got the summit one booked for 4 pm for the sunset. So we'll be there a few hours with drinks and it should be good. And then tonight we've got back to the future. So here we are, Sean's Bar and Kitchen, which gets good reviews. So let's go inside and see. Sean's, Sean's Place Bar and Grill, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, nice. Absolutely massive size, as you can see. Huge. Very, very hot. Piping hot. The eggs were nice. The sausages were nice. The bacon was really pro proper real bacon and didn't have fat on, which was great. Yeah, good size. It's massive in there. Huge. It's the biggest Irish type of bar I've seen, to be fair. Um, it came to what $50, 50 for two breakfasts, and then you then you've got to add your tip on top. There is a three percent added on to if you're paying by debit card or credit card. It says at the bottom. But yeah, I'm glad we've been. We wouldn't go back again. Um, the staff, not many of them spoke good English. To be honest, the girl who served us was Irish. Was was what? She was not Irish. The girl who served us, she sounded like she was from um, Poland or somewhere. She was as Irish as people. Oh. Anyway, she didn't smile once. I felt like not giving a tip, to be honest. Don't know whether you heard me that well then. Um, yeah, so the breakfast was was nice, it was good. Can't complain. Absolutely massive. Hot, very hot. Egg, sausage, bacon massive place inside it's really really big um the staff could do with putting a smile on the face to be honest and i would say only 10 o'clock in the morning but yeah we've tried it there now would i go back no if you like a big breakfast a big english breakfast yeah definitely go there it's definitely worth it and it looks like it'd be a good place to go for drinks later on in the night and stuff it's really big nice place inside so now we're off to the Museum of Modern Art. We haven't got that long. And then we've got the Central Park movies and TV tour. So let's hope this rain stays off. There's Radio City, guys. Also, people, I have bought us. We I bought it before we arrived. It's called a city pass, and we've gone for a five-day all-inclusive one, which we activate today. Now, when we go to this museum of modern art, go onto the website. There's a few different ones that's confusing. That sound like city pass, but I found city pass to be the best one. Got a really good deal. I think five days all inclusive you can use uh, it's, you, there's a, over 109 things you can do 
I'll put the details up in the corner for you, for you now, so you know which one it is. Um, oh wow, yeah, there's a queue to get into the museum and whatnot. Okay, maybe we're not going to that right now then. Let's have a little look. Wow. So we've got to change a plan because we've only got like an hour and 20 minutes and I wanted to, I don't want to rush in there. Um, so we're not going to do the museum and whatnot just yet. We might see what the line's like when we come out of the tour. Uh, I didn't expect it to be a queue like that at, at half ten in the morning, to be fair. It's huge. I don't think huge. As well. Absolutely huge. There's the DJI shop over there. I know he was tall, that guy wasn't he? Mm -hmm. That's us. So let's see the DJI shop then. It can carry that? Mm -hmm. Wow. All the little carry cases. I wonder how much the memory cards are then. That's how much the cards are. So that's what I've got. Beautiful. We both went to the loo and it was it was immense. The toilet seat on literally everything for <laughs> it lifted up, the toilet seat was warm, it was just it's just lovely, absolutely lovely. <laughs> what are you saying to <laughs> it washed you? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Oh my god. Um but yeah the prices are immense and the it's a nice place to just walk around and the staff are lovely. I did get told off once saying I'm not supposed to film in there, but I've done most of my filming to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it's lovely. Very nice. So Tiffany's is right at the end virtually of uh, Fifth Avenue where it meets Central Park. It's not too far from the Plaza Hotel. There's the Plaza. <laughs> I'm in stitches and John telling me what the Tiffany's toilet has done to him. <laughs> oh. I, sorry, but you've got to try that toilet at the Tiffany's. What floor was that on? Yeah. Yeah, on, the, on the third floor. I was waiting outside. And there was about, there's about a million staff who work in there, by the way. 
there was about 10 staff standing outside the door and I was thinking, where's John? What's he doing? What's he doing? The toilet was giving him a me <laughs> Well, hilarious. Size of that apple? Yeah, the apple shop and I Oh, that was funny. The old ice basin at the plaza. <laughs> when we done our tour the other day, the guy was saying he used to rent Kevin's room out, and how much a night could he get? £30,000 a night it was, and people paid it to stay in the room Kevin stayed in. I'm a home alone fan, but not that much. Even if I had it, I don't think I'd pay £30,000 to stay in a room at the plaza for one night. For $30,000, not fine. The weather's really mild, we've brought our hats out, but we don't actually need them. So warm. That's where I got the video of when I had my breakfast going to the toilet. See the Central Park we used to do there. So we're just waiting for our tour. Like I said earlier about our um, City Go City Pass, we've got a five day all inclusive one. And when you use your first event, excursion, trip, whatever you want to call them, that activates your pass. So ours is for five days, all inclusive. It includes over 109 different attractions and tours, which is amazing. This, some of them are seven hours, uh, the five boroughs of New York, which we previously done two years ago, not with City Pass, but with um, Via, 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 whatever it's called. Um, but we won't be doing that again because it's seven hours and it'll take up a full day and I wanted to get some walking tours done. We've booked the Little Italy tour, this one today, we've booked tomorrow, I've got a um, a bus film and movies tour, I've booked the ride, uh, you can go to Madden Two Swords, you can do the Top of the Rock, the Empire State, the Edge, the Statue of Liberty, boat tours, there's just so much to choose from, it's, it's unbelievable. Some of them are seasonal. When I looked, um, there's a lot more you can do in the summer. Uh, there's even a Yankees game or something that's, in, that's included. I'm sure that'd be hard to get to it. So we paid about $300 each um, for a five day pass, but you can just get them from one day onwards. So we'll see what this is like. That didn't turn out great. We waited for 20, 25 minutes in the rain and nobody turned up, so we left. And then, as we were on Fifth Avenue, we got a phone call, and it was a lady who was standing a bit further up from us, who didn't come over. She, she said she didn't know whether we were for the tour guide. She's had bad experiences in the past. I do think you should wear a tour guide top. She did have a blue umbrella, but it said nothing on it. So we've just had to race back, so she could scan our pass because I think you can get charged and she won't get paid. And if we didn't turn up, you do get charged money, even though you, you've got it on your pass. So I didn't mind doing that, but we've left the tour, to be honest, because the rain's on and off and we've done a Central Park pedicab tour, which I think it'll be quite similar, but just walking around. And we've also got a movie bus tour booth for tomorrow. So we're going to go and see what the queues are like. In the Museum of Modern Art, I don't like these guys. See these on the floor? Some of them you can see right down into the subway and you just walk over them. It's, it's a bit scary. I try to avoid them. Oh, yeah, get that. Thank you.
I wouldn't mind going to see Michael Jackson again. And to this one. Some gutters I've been on um, phone, such pictures instead of a video. Silly me, because there's been some beautiful paintings. If any of the photos have turned out, I will put them up. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> wow. The John's face, I mean, I had to lose his head, these stuff in a bowl. How's that art? <laughs> because art can be anything it's what people make of it
Well, people, I loved the museum of modern art because I've had longer in there, but my little legs are sore. And John said it wasn't his favourite place. So we're just deciding what to do next. We're heading our way back down to our hotel, to be honest, and um, have a little sit down for an hour and then. I'll probably get changed because we've got the summit booked at four o'clock. So by the time we get to the top, it'll be sunset. And then we've got Back to the Future later. Busy day, busy night. We'll have to fit food in somewhere along the lines, but we're not one bit hungry after that breakfast. That was ginormous.